up guys, it's Keydrin here, back at it again with another tutorial. Now you guys may know that I made a community post and I asked you guys what video I should make next. And a lot of you really wanted me to make a video of what I want Windows 10 on a problem. Well, that's what I'm doing here in this video. Now, don't, this won't be done in a virtual machine. I'm not installing Windows 10 onto Chrome OS. I'm not doing it like that. So, just keep in mind. So, just keep that in mind. But anyways, before we start with this video, I want you guys to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a video I make each day. And, you know, let's do it. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to have Linux small enable, and I'll put a link to a tutorial in the description by this YouTuber named Erwin Tech. And if you don't know who Erwin Tech is, he's basically a YouTuber where he does a lot of Chromebook tutorials, and I think he's pretty cool. So make sure you guys support him on his channel, join his membership, buy his merchandise, and subscribe to his channel. But anyways, after you have Linux mode enabled, you want to go to this website, which will be linked in the description. You want to copy this, click Ctrl C, and then you want to click the launcher and go to the terminal. Go to click Penguin, and then you want to right click, and then you click Enter. Now, I already installed it, so it's no point me doing this. So after you install it, put it close on the terminal, and go to virtual machine manager now it now first before you get to here you will have this but you will not have this so you want to go to this click file click add connection go to key it mu slash kv up good user session or q e m u slash and user section. Click that and click connect. And after you connect with that, you want to click that, click the add new virtual machine button, which is right here by the way. And you want to go to, you want to keep it on local install media, click forward. You want to go to browse and you want to click browse local. Make sure you copy your Windows 10 ISO to over to the latest file. Which, which we will be getting to next. So make sure you go to this website. Here, which will be in the description. You want to go through all the steps of choose the version and choose your part language, and then you want to install system version. After you do that, you want to copy it over to your Linux file and we want to be copy. Go ahead, and click open. Put in text it. Now I'm just gonna leave it at 4096. Um, make it some layer. And I'm just gonna leave it uh, 40 and then what to name it Win 10 capital and then click finish. Alright, so after that is done, you want to click next, click install now.